Hello. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the ownership of Witherspoons. Yeah, and that is a picture of Ricky Gervais and the best and most efficient manager in Witherspoons in Dundee is a lookalike for Ricky Gervais. Uh, and that's why they've now banned the taking of pictures by people with proper cameras uh, in that pub. Uh, and they referred me to, uh, to uh, it's not Watford, I forget what the town is. Oh yeah, I think it is Watford, that's Elton John's hub. Yeah, <laughs> and all of them have the trivia outside of their own massive corporates. Uh, but this one is not actually a corporate owner. The managing director at Witherspoons is uh, Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. He has no entry on Wikipedia. His co-director and the spokesperson for the company is a Martin like Christopher. And you now know their reputation. And this one is quite, oh God, he's quite a wild public speaker. And he came up when I was looking for Witherspoon. So they're quite bullish with their policies. I only discovered that two days ago. Yeah, tiny little replacement for Ricky Gervais's managerial body double came and told me the second night that I was taking videos in that place and all of his staff had heard that my website depicts body doubles for many of his staff that are claimants to the English throne. And that boy was intrigued by that and he said, can I see the pictures and can you give me a reference to your web website so I can see who exactly in the monarchy bloodlines I look like? And when I told him he was also in the internment of Prince Eddie, yeah, that is uh, the taking of Prince Eddie to Glam's castle where he spent the rest of his life uh, as the uh, possibly legitimate monarch, but because he was Prince Eddie that was the Jack the Ripper murderer right next to the Bank of England in Cheapside, uh, then all of that had to be reversed. So he spent the rest of his life in Glam's. And the body doubles for those people work behind the bar. I don't know if they know that they are body doubles for those people, but when the nice man that did not stop me looking at the telly the Ricky Gervais body double eh, <laughs> comes and talks to you, eh, then you don't have to guess who he looks like. It's an absolutely amazing likeness. Eh, and there are the pictures of the staff at the uh, Witherspoons in Dundee. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is them telling me that I must not point my camera at any of the uh, people in the pub and my camera was still focused on the uh, news for the BBC that night. Yeah, let's just get to the director numbers because I don't want to waste a lot of time on a trivial issue. But all of these are run by billionaires. You should see the statistics on the turnover in that pub. Yeah, and no one's allowed to know whether or not Ricky Gervais has been knighted, and there's his Wikipedia. Uh, so let's let's just profile Ricky Gervais. Yeah, you've seen all the massive buffoonish movies that that man has made. Yeah, and it's just cover, like almost everything, for the world's richest people. And Sir Richard has no entry on Wikipedia. And he has no pictures uh, so that we can compare him with... Oh, sorry. So that we can compare him with 
uh, the uh, the uh, people that are Sir Richard Gervais. I forgot the last letter uh, name in his hyphenated posh tough. So there is his directorates, Sir Richard Gervais Direct Beckett. Yeah, and that is a massive. The Beckett families are a massive part of the religious strife in England, uh, and I believe that several of them got murdered because they got uppity with the king. <laughs> yeah. So, there is his four companies in the history of his corporate activity in Britain, if there are not other middle names for the same man, which is possibly why he has no Wikipedia profile. OK, so that's Sir Richard Gervais Beckett, 60 Victoria, Embankment, London, EC4. Oh, sorry, I'll zoom. EC4. Yeah, so 60 Victoria Embankment, London. It's a pity that I cannot get the focusing device to work well this morning. But it's just a trivial issue. It's my favourite pub. It's by far the cheapest in the entire country. And thank you to the directors for keeping the prices down. One hopes that you pay your taxes when you refuse people the right to view the tellies. Uh, and then refer them uh, to headquarters that <laughs> is in Watford. And there is the JD Weatherspoons of Watford. Yeah. And we'll get to that in a few minutes. Let's <laughs> go back to the top page. So let's see what their trading address is on this one. So... J.D. Witherspoon's PS PLC, uh, Witherspoon House, Reeds Crescent, Watford, Hertfordshire, WD 2440L. And when this man is depicted uh, as one of the directors, the other one, uh, that's Tim Martin, Witherspoon's founder, and his mates with, in the same gear, uh, I forget which uh, of the branches, he operates out, but he's on the global board, yeah, on the uh, UK business register, uh, and that's him in the corner. Okay, Tim Martin, Weatherspoon's founder, 5th December 2018. And there's their polite statement that if you start to argue with us, we need to get you out. None of the staff in Dundee are like that. Yeah, he just made me turn my camera off and everyone around me in the place is taking selfies of them and their mates uh, directly face on. Yeah, <laughs> so he asked me to write to Watford. Right then, and there is the Watford register. Yeah, Com company type, public limited, with fucking share capital. Yeah, and they are shouting their mouths off in that movie clip about Theresa May allowing them to be. Uh, yeah, he's making a protest there about Theresa May not allowing free business. Yeah, Tim Martin visits his Beckett's Bank in pub, uh, pub in Leeds city centre, one of the massive European hubs for the Pizzo family uh, and their uh, massive frauds, Hugh Pearson. <laughs> yeah, frequently a victim of lightning strikes. <laughs> to talk about the economic advantages of leaving the EU without a deal. So they're talking about everything that I'm not allowed to take pictures of on the TV screen with no of the none of the punters 
in between my camera and that screen because it's way above just under the roof of the building and because it was a money lending house yeah that is the counting house in Dundee okay <laughs> uh, uh, let's get back to that uh, portrayal of their corporates okay so uh, which one shall we do first let's do Ricky Gervais's companies there is Locke Louis, Louis Cart Estate Company Limited 51 Lennox Gardens Limited and we have a counter insurgency device uh, run in the uh, Strathmore Hotel same week as the uh, as the uh, three Freemasons in the national meeting in uh, and I think they told me that there were hundreds of lodges in Dundee uh, two of the three that visited here were accountants <laughs> yeah and do you understand that there is Lock Louis Cart Estate Company Limited that is 51 Lennox for the traitors of uh, Clydeside yeah, and the traitors in Brussels that are the duchesses and dukes of Richmond that entertained the troops Uh, that entertained the troops on the eve of the Battle of Waterloo for Rothschild. Uh, and last night I brought home a paper to show you the menace of the Rothschild pigeon stories because when I told it outside the Malmaison on my camera where you're allowed to make videos in a public place uh, they <laughs> then realised that the Rothschilds were getting the blame for the stealing of every federal bank across the world, with the help of the Lennox families who became the concubines for the Protestant kings that eventually took over the world after all of the Catholic people had been uh, displaced from the right to vote, the right to run for political office, and all of that happened for 150 years after the three-year Orange regime of William and Mary. Yeah, lovely federal and uh, political system that we have now imposed on everyone, which is why uh, the Brexit scheme has been launched. That is the braying Italian donkey that is Jesus, born on Xmas Day. And on and go on the buffoonish jokes go, and all of them get paid eighty to a hundred thousand pounds to be members of the same corporate families yeah that have launched politics as a corporate money stream thanks to the Scottish nobles who sold Scotland to the United Kingdom Dr Ian Fingland's clan yeah that is the Douglas family the Dukes of the Clue and the Dukes of Queensbury yeah uh, and that is uh, J.D. Witherspoons is the fourth director that he has and he's still active on that. He was appointed to that in 2009 and he has still not resigned in 2019. Yeah, but they have got restrictive policies for people pointing their cameras at uh, Characters that are telling lies on behalf of the crooked government on the TV. And you're not allowed to archive those lies or to collate them into an orderly video like this one. Okay, the last of the four companies for Sir Richard Gervais Beckett is the Mercantile Investment Trust Limited. And he's doing okay on his net worth. Let me just see what it says on that. There's the summary. So, about Sir Richard Gervais Beckett, 
with the massive shareholding capacity for a company that is doing okay, but will not let you uh, watch the news or assess whether or not Theresa May is a traitor like they possibly are. All of them are ultra-friendly and I have not fallen out with any of them and even the one that told me to switch my camera off the night before uh, gave me a warm greeting last night. He's the only one that I cannot associate uh, as a body double with anyone. So there's a body double called Paula for Helen Mirren, the actress. Uh, there's a body double uh, for uh, David Cameron, uh, exactly the same facial structure as David Cameron. Yeah, uh, And uh, there are body doubles for uh, some of the Austrian nobles. Uh, and I asked if I could talk to them about their uh, genealogy, uh, but the foreman is uh, one of the massive, uh, he's related to the Earls of Airlie, and that is, uh, unfortunately, those are the Earls of Morton that were the Batman for Winston Churchill uh, in World War Two, and they were the Batman for Butcher Haig in World War One. same man, yeah? the Earls of Morton. Yeah, right through, and they tried to launch, it just after William the Conqueror had arrived, the, they tried to launch in their own uh, regions the use of the guillotine to get rid of the ordinary villagers so that none of the Anglo-Saxons could survive the Norman invasion. Yeah, and the, the invaders are also coming from the Norse countries too. Okay, Sir Richard Gervais Beckett holds two appointments at two active companies, has resigned from two companies and held zero appointments at zero dissolved companies. Richard began his first appointment at the age of 48. The longest current appointment spans 26 years, zero months and 24 days at Loch Louis, Louis Cart Chart Estate Company Limited. The combined cash at bank value for all businesses where Richard holds a current appointment equals 50.6 million, a combined total current assets value of 94.8 million, with a total current liabilities of 348 million. <laughs> and a total current net worth of 199.9 million. I don't see how the arithmetic works, but that could be the shares. Yeah, money for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> total current liabilities of 348. Yeah. Uh, Combined total current assets value of 94.8 million with a liability of 348. I don't get the arithmetic there, do you? Roles associated with Sir Richard Gervais Beckett, who cannot be found on Wikipedia. Uh, and there's his director details, Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. There's his date of birth. 1944, getting on a bit, nationality British, director ID 90325 and here there's his credit score. <laughs> right then, so let me read you again the fact that they have shares. Yeah, where is that? Oh no, where was it? Oh, I don't know how we've lost the access to the statement that they have shares, but that might have been on the company's check. Yeah, and the directors uh, are usually at the bottom of that page. 
but we're going to have to go to them uh, on a different page. So each of the companies will have the shareholding option. So let's have a look at Witherspoons. Oh no, there it is. So there is the other an, another page that is open at the same time, and there is the statement that this is the PLC credit report for JD Weatherspoon PLC. They are company type, public limited, with fucking share capital. Yeah, all of that being traded by their mate Rothschild under running of everything that was stolen uh, by the deployment of those pigeons at Waterloo uh, with the Lennoxes hosting the ball on the evil eve of the Battle of Quatre Bras in Brussels. Yeah, that's the Dukes and Duchess of Richmond's Palace in Brussels. And there were no shares at that time. Oh yes, there were. That is how Rothschild made the money by making the pigeons get the message to him that they needed to drop the price of the shares, crash the market and then take over the investment possibilities eh, and then the Bank of England. And they've now got every federal bank in the world, Hannah Mary. Never seen her in Witherspoons. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in her gilded cage, she's doing okay too. And she allowed me to interrogate all of her uh, affairs on uh, company check before they then crashed the software. And now you cannot find uh, more than the first 100 Rothschilds on the business register. So, company status, active accounts filed, public limited with share capital, incorporated on 25th of March 1983. Oh, that's much better. Uh, and uh, there is 35 years old, nine directors still active, company number 1709784. Don't know whether or not I will bother to write to their headquarters in Hertfordshire at that address until I've sussed out Ricky Gervais's real story. Okay, so, uh, uh, company status, active accounts filed, and there are now the directors, I'll take you through them all, okay, Mrs. Felicity Ann Martin, the wife of the Martin man that thinks that Theresa May is mistaken on her Brexit policies. And he just slams the camera down as he defames the totally crooked Prime Minister, yeah, who trained at Tavistock. And all of those things that I've talked about have been because I interrogate the BBC News and the Sky News every night on the telly. And now I just have to take notes. I'm not allowed to take pictures. <laughs> and I will show all of my videos on Witherspoons to all of the people that are allowed freely to look at my computer screen. Mr. Timothy Randall Martin. Yeah, he's still active. Yeah, there's he is the third one down. Yeah, and the wife is Mrs. Miss Felicity. Oh, she might be <laughs> available as a pole dancer in one of the pubs. <laughs> Uh, date of birth, oh, it does not tell you that. And she could then just be a corporate. <laughs> Do you get it? All the usual tricks. <laughs> right then. Uh, so, Mr. Raymond Randall Martin. Uh, keeping it well in family. Miss Helen Christina Denham McClellan. And I've just been watching Denham Elliot's massive movies in his uh, Secret Services uh, movies that he makes uh, with Indiana Jones and with killing the pigs uh, for their banquets in wartime. Yeah? 
Yeah, all of it really, really humorous. Uh, and all of it out of the, uh, the uh, famous director in Hollywood that was the director of E.T. Uh, and there are the other names. So that's Miss Helen Christina Denham McClellan is both a director and the company secretary. Uh, there is Mr. Anthony Carmel Lowry, director. Yet yeah, he packed up and resigned in 2005. Mr. James Martin Scott, <laughs> director, uh, until 1995. Mr. Richard Henry Howarth, uh, right up to 1992. So, down we go. Uh, and there is the last one on the first page of four. Uh, his name is Mr. Keith Lunn, uh, and he survived on the board until August 1994. And I don't know whether or not they're obligated to make videos uh, denouncing the woman that was trained at Tavistock as they employ body doubles like Tavistock provide them with. Do you get it? Everyone, my son, is on that. Uh, he works in there. He will be packing up and leaving with his degree hopefully soon uh, unless he fails his finals. Yeah, and with these guys, yeah, <laughs> able to manipulate the price of their own shares, uh, all of it uh, is really quite sinister. <laughs> right then, so. Page two, and the police have just noticed that I'm making this video. <laughs> and this is their job, really. Mr. Brian Roy, not Gervais, but Jervis, just in case somebody finds us out. Director, 1991 to 10th November 2005. Mr. Mark McQuarter, director, 94 to 96. Uh, Miss Rosalind Sharon Schofield, yeah, the name of the actor that is my favourite in the Thomas Moore films. <laughs> Company secretary two th until 2001. Mr. Roger John Penny Cook again. Yeah, director, 95 to 98. Mr. D John David Hudson. He is still mentioned as the owner of Witherspoons on the Wikipedia profile when you look at that profile. I could show you that now if you want. Uh, but let's get through the directors. Mr. John Anthony Herring, 1997 to 2011. Uh, Miss Suzanne Louise Baker, director, 97 to 2005. Mr. Mark Lawrence Davies, yeah, David Davies is uh, Secretary of State for Brexit, yeah, which is possibly why the Martin families of the Mayflower and the uh, Flavius Josephus scams uh, are on the board. Yeah, Mark Lawrence David uh, was a director from September 1997 to June 2001. Finally, James Clark, and the Top Gear team is all together again with Hammond and Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, and all of them uh, have had to pack up and then rejoin the massive scam. Okay, uh, so that's James Clark is the last on page two. We now go to page three. And uh, on company check, they no longer show you what the price of the shares is when they're launched and what they make it to when they are profited from. Yeah, all of that stopped with my brother-in-law's directorates on the crooked companies that rob from the students. Yeah, that's called CPD and the retraining of every professional has to buy the right to work by getting audited every year. Yeah, and Bolger has now come into the stories again uh, last week and he is on these boards, I think. And if we go further down... <laughs> Do you get it? All of it is Rupert Murdoch's syndicate. Uh, so there's page three. 
Mr. James Clark, company secretary, and he's a director. We profiled him on the previous one. Mr. Nicholas Ian Cooper. Yeah, remember that Yvette Cooper is uh, the wife of, uh, or she's the partner of Ed Balls, and both of them are on the committee of uh, 300. Yeah, and she's in the fucking cabinet with Boris and all the mafia. Miss Elizabeth McMeekin, Miss Deborah Van Gini, that is the Vaughns and the Vans of the Austrian nobility. <laughs> Director, and she's still active. Miss Elizabeth McMeekin is still active. Yeah? Joined in 2005 and 2006, and there is a very Italian looking name. Miss Julie Centra Ciccio. <laughs> Do you get it? Ciccio in the name, and that is Madonna's uh, family tree. Mr. Keith Down, he's a director. Uh, poor Miss Julie Ciccio is actually only a company secretary. And she had to stop in 2008 when the crashing of the banks occurred, and that might be partially her fault. <laughs> okay, uh, and there is Mr. Keith Down. He's a director and a secretary. He's having to work really hard. Yeah, like the man that forbids you taking photos in Witherspoons where everybody takes dozens of selfies and pictures of their friends and passers by every night of every week. <laughs> uh, and I might send this to Watford to see how they react. <laughs> so there is uh, Miss Susan Alina Caccio, Caccio Opo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, there is, she's still active. <laughs> Mr. Paul John Harbottle. Uh, he's uh, 2008 when the banks were crashed. Uh, and that is to 2010. And finally, on page three, yeah, which is where the they get their tits out, uh, and that is Sir Richard G Sir Richard Gervais Beckett of the religious strife and the massive massacres right through British history. Yeah, and we'll go to his. Uh, so this is a list of his directorates and his co-directors then and now, okay? And he's still active. Wee Thin blue lines for the fucking polis. Yeah, they do not do a day's genuine work. All they do is bang up the people uh, and make them suspects for mental health cases. Yeah? And let me remind you what Ricky Gervais looks like and the lovely man behind the bar that is so diplomatic that he's become my friend. I don't even know his name. I can't remember it. And it's totally irrelevant. All they need to do is to have, yeah, a diversion for the real economic truth, which is why they're shouting their mouths off at the people that they trained in Tavistock and they pick the body doubles so that they can obfuscate the stories I'm making in any week. And I've been here for 18 months already. Yeah, and there's the gods having the piss taken out of them. Yeah, let me see what the other pictures are, just in case we've missed something. So there is the search for Sir Richard... Gervais Beckett, yeah, and remember that he's a director uh, for 30 years of Witherspoons in Britain, uh, and there's not one photo of that person, yeah, who's actually named that way, uh, <laughs> uh, and that one's Anthony Eden, uh, and I think he was one of the prime ministers in this country. 
and you can see they are on the profile for Sir Richard Gervais Beckett and uh, you can see that they were uh, they are baronets of this country and you get all of them coming up in the search list uh, but let's first see whether or not we've seen all the photos and let's see what they've got under those next ranks of photos none of them uh, please notice that look like Ricky Gervais yeah which is why they've got the body doubles behind the bar <laughs> yeah and they could well be uh, the sons of Ricky Gervais for all I know <laughs> but in his comedies he's not very good with women <sighs> uh, so Gervais Beckett and all you learn is that they were uh, baronets in the 90, uh, 1890s and thereafter staff faculty that one's at Oxford immune from bombing throughout the war Sir Arthur Pearson Hugh and the Leeds Syndicate Sir Arthur Pearson again first baronet of uh, uh, <laughs> what was the name? Uh, Beckett Gervais Gervais Beckett Right then, so uh, I think that may be the first picture and I'll be able to show you the search inject in, oh no. So let's go to the last picture and there is the delightful Witherspoons and they possibly did not allow anybody to take photos of them and they actually sent a staff member to take one. What I searched for is Witherspoon staff in Dundee and I could put a picture of my son up there just to uh, rile them up but that might get him the sack yeah <laughs> Witherspoon says sorry after issue uh, and I believe that is the attack of a woman in the pub and all of it need, they need cover for now that we realise that Richard Gervais is on their board for 30 fucking years <laughs> yeah as a baronet and there's no other information on him okay and there's Jolie's hotel in Broughty Ferry I wonder if they'll get upset at me uh, pointing out that you, if you're not allowed to watch the telly in one and you've not been scolded by the manager in another one that you might go there freely with your camera and take the pictures of all of the political body doubles that they employ in acute periods after I've reported something that involves the body double who is uh, actually just a plant uh, and all of that is run just like Tavistock and the training of uh, the Prime Minister and the Cabinet ever since William of Orange came in and launched Boris Johnson and David Cameron uh, into that massive syndicate of Protestant killers that would not allow the Catholic claimants to take their legitimate place on the throne. They ignored the 50 legitimate Catholic claimants and replaced them by the German monarchs and then they did the same thing in America with the Bushes replacing all of the Freemasons that had been free, uh, that had been the presidents before, now out of the Fourth Reich in Germany, with Hitler's body doubles and the aristocratic families that become the Star Wars team, <laughs> and that is Ricky Gervais in the museum movie. It's a lovely place, and it's a counting house and a bank like the Fleming Bar down the road. Yeah, that is the Fleming, that is the uh, the bank bar opposite McDonald's that was the home to Ian Fleming's grandfather uh, and then they went away to America and they became Scottish widows, the sad bastards. <laughs> yeah, but Witherspoons are only guilty 
of releasing shares. And you should see how much they make every year from that. <laughs> yeah, I cannot show you that because they no longer publish it, Hannah Mary. Yet since all of those Rothschild scandals were reported by me in videos like this in St. James's Place. Yeah, where the shares are released and you crow about your capacity to rob the investors blind. <laughs> Dr. Stephen Andrew Hancock's releasing uh, £100 worth of shares uh, and converting that in uh, uh, half a year to £300,000. <laughs> and they don't speak to me anymore. Right then. So, what else can we look for? Uh, 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 what is the name? So there's the Witherspoon's Wikipedia profile. Oh, did we get to page four? <laughs> Let's just check that out. Oh, no, we didn't. Sorry. Oh, and this is quite good because it's got actors and actresses in it. <laughs> okay, so there is Mr. Kirk Davis. Nothing to do with religion, that one. Or Brexit. Mr. Kirk Dyson Davis. That is the massive stories about the Tysons being an offshoot. And they are the inventors of the Hoovers. All of them out of Germania and Austria. And they are skip the war crimes and trade with the enemy through both of those wars. Sir James, Mark James Reckitt, Mr. Nigel Connor, Mr. Benjamin, not Netanyahu, but Newton Whitley. There is the actor's name, Mr. Harry Michael Charles Morley, in the movies about being in uh, 1888 uh, on the River Nile, uh, at Khartoum, prepared to defend Christianity against Islam. That's the Mad Mahdi and the launch of Police Scotland's search for Mahdi. Yeah, really sophisticated mafia operation. And I didn't want to bring Witherspoons down because that will destroy my economy as well. They're the cheapest and most justified uh, people in the whole of uh, the United Kingdom, and God bless them for keeping the prices down for the punters. Yeah, I don't know if the punters know that they are making money out of selling shares, and that is on the popularity of their efficient business. Yeah, but you're not allowed to learn about that on uh, companies' house data anymore. Yeah? And their registered address is, <laughs> just in case there are any ambiguities, is uh, J.D. Witherspoon. And this one is the, this one is the Watford branch. And there are branches all over the country, as you might imagine. So let's have a wee look at that. There are 122 results found for Witherspoon. Yeah, five Temple Road, Blackrock Village, County Dublin, cash forty point nine million, net worth two hundred and forty point five million. There's Witherspoons of Watford, where I need to write to if this video does not get the impact to allow me to watch their telly. <laughs> yeah, and if they continue with that, I'll just get the news on this, and I will continue to dub on them. J.D. Weatherspoon's PLC, uh, Weatherspoon House, Reeds Crescent, Watford, Hertfordshire, WD 24 4QL. That could be Wadsden. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, sorry, it's Watford, of course. Uh, so they have 50.6 million in cash, uh, 
a net worth of 199 million, assets of 94.8 million. That's the beautiful buildings where the tellies are lodged right up near the ceiling, so you do not need to disturb the other customers if you want to make a video of the BBC lying on behalf of Theresa May and the entire cabinet that was founded for corporate reasons by the Protestants that were killing all of the Catholics and appointing the German monarchs to our throne. J.D. Witherspoon, Scotland Limited. Oh, this is Glasgow. You could get in a fight in this one. 22 Herbert Street, Glasgow, Scotland. Net worth Zippo, 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 Zippo. J.D. Weatherspoon's Property Limited. This one's in Watford, so they can launder. Which is why they have directors that are company secretaries too. And fuck knows how the shareholdings and the profits from that get audited by anyone because there are no declarations other than we sell them. <sighs> okay, uh, there is Witherspoon and Partner Limited, Suite 77, Beak Street. That is the joke that we are wetting our beak as a mafia operation and that is the joke for the Godfather movie with the guy that wears the deathly white suit. And outside uh, one of the pubs in the Malmaison last night, uh, they had uh, the word beak on the uh, uh, number plate for one of the massive cars that was parked in the Malmaison car park. Yeah, and that is the place that the night before uh, they, uh, they launched the story about pigeons being bad for your health. And it's still on the paper. There is on the front page, investigation. This is the night, the night after, are told the story on this camera that the Battle of Waterloo was won by the Rothschilds buying the Bank of England and scamming the stock market into believing that uh, Napoleon had won at Waterloo, and that is how Rothschild was able to crash the market and acquire the whole lot, using Scandaroon pigeons. And the following day, there is now an inquiry ordered into the design and construction of Glasgow Queen's Hospital following the death of a child. Fatality linked to pigeon droppings is the latest tragedy linked to a catalogue of problems with the site. Can you see why they will not let me read the news? All of it is uh, the interpretations that the British royals have been murderous for centuries. Well, 150 years is enough, and that is the linkage to the Rothschild family and all of Queen Victoria's illegitimate babies all across uh, oligarchs uh, Europe and all of the oligarchs are replaced by Rothschild family relatives. Yeah, Tsar, Tsar, Nikolaevich, Romanov, Rothschild, manager and director at Heart of Midlothian Football Club. Yeah, so this is the sick children's place just outside Edinburgh. Oh no, sorry, it's Glasgow Queen Elizabeth University Hospital following a death of a child. Fatality linked to droppings is the latest tragedy, that is pigeon droppings, the night after, outside the Malmaison, I made the video on the Battle of Waterloo. And that is the state of the nation and its news, and this is the paper that is run by the Thompsons, who are Thomson Reuters, and that is the Rothschild's manipulation of global news since they stopped using so much touring and taxis eh, so that they can snitch on every carriage journey in a taxi that can be hired. <laughs> yeah, and that is the Thompsons of the rich list and the billionaires that run the launch of this paper. And there's the Watford player that obfuscates the news that I'm telling you now. Yeah, and my wife used to be the person that took the entry money for Elton John 
at his Watford Football Club. She did not tell me that they were the founders of Witherspoons. And the sex shop was actually in Hemel Hempstead, not in Watford at all. And there is the Bulger story for Rupert Murdoch again and again and again. Bulger was the launch of a murdered child so that every mother had to give up her job and take the kids in the car check them in every morning and check them out every night. And that is the missing plane story for a Sasha character who's just the cover for a Sasha that works in the Malmaison. Yeah, and she was in the Harry Potter cast and she was in the, uh, the In Bruges movie about assassinations of altar boys. Okay, do you get it? And the night before, there were two articles on the poisonous hazard that are pigeons. Yeah. Uh, and I could take you right through the paper and explain everything in it. There's the missing planes. Yeah, that is the launch of the IRE. That is Prince Philip running narcotics into Australasia to raise the funds for the IRA and the killing of his uh, uh, cousin-in-law, uh, that is Lord Mountbatten, because he wanted to uh, get into the syndicate yeah, after Winston Churchill had passed on. So that's Onassis, Prince Philip and uh, uh, Churchill running narcotics into Australasia to fund the IRA, which is why two days ago, at, uh, I forget what the name of the place is where they blew up the car bombs again, uh, but that is Londonderry, yeah, and that all of that has been commissioned by uh, Prince Philip, who had his accident, so that he could just say that he's walking away from it. He's the Black Prince that ran the drug running syndicate when he arrived out of Greece in an orange box for that Protestant syndicate that ruled the world for 200 years without any Catholic being able to vote. And their votes were gifted to the local Protestants. <laughs> yeah, it's a massive, massive steal yeah, and all of it is just buffoons. EU warns threat of Irish border from no deal. Do you get it? That is the funding of the IRA, so that everything is divide and conquer. And Ulster is still run from Hillsborough, which is the massive Queen's mansion in that place. And the Queen is the head of the Met Police. Let's get the rest of the boardroom. Oh, sorry, uh, I could profile the activities of the co-directors if you want. Let's just see if they loosen their policies on watching the telly and having your camera trained. Yeah? Now, I can watch this and turn it up quite loud so that they can hear that their directors are now legends. OK, so, Herbert Street, Glasgow, Watford, Hertfordshire, and that's the Ponzi shelf that has no assets, no net worth, no liabilities, and no cash, and no shareholdings or any profits from that is declared. Weatherspoon and Partner Limited, there's the Beak Street Soho joke for the Coens who founded the brothels in Soho, and the Coens that are now getting the sack in the White House with 450 of them left behind the one man who is taking the fall. And the whole of the White House regime has now closed down. <laughs> and the name of the girl <laughs> was in the White House movie last night.
So these are my notes from last night, which I could not keep on my camera. So the name of the girl that is the lookalike for uh, the Pizzo woman that works in the Malmaison, her name is Sophia Gaston, and she looks like Sasha Posey. And that is the actress. Let me show you her. Uh, let's look up Gaston first. So, Sophie Gaston, and all of a sudden, she's the lookalike for the girl that is in the In Bruges movie. Works in the Malmaison. Oh, sorry. Works in the Malmaison. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's a much skinnier than the woman that is in the Malmaison, but all of it is the same scams. Yeah, and there is the person. Uh, let me show you the <laughs> person. So her name is Sasha or Pasha in the Malmaison. And what they did yesterday is crash another missing plane with the person that is uh, Sasha Posey. Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you. Uh, so her name is Clement Posey. Uh, and let's look in Bruges. Yeah, there she is. Possibly the same woman. Yeah, all of it the same news. And Sasha, uh, all of it is the names for Stalin's relatives in London. Uh, Sasha uh, was Stalin's uh, forename. Uh, and that is the Montefiore families, all of whom marry into Rothschild so that they can keep the uh, Cohen bloodline going that is the High Priests of Israel. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, I thought you were out today. Sorry. No, no. Can you hang that card on in case it happens again? Sorry. I don't want my room cleaned. I've told explain that to the staff. No, it's okay. Yeah, but oh, please, did, were you told to come in here? Um, I might have been on my sheet, but I might have looked at it wrong. So I, 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 I tell them, uh, all of my stuff is in here, uh, and they're not allowed to come in, even when they're cleaning the room, unless I'm in it? Right, it could have been my fault. I can fully apologise. What is your name? Hello? Sorry? What's your name? It's Adele. I'll tell Ken myself, I'll tell the manager myself. Right. And you, how can you open it without me helping you? Yeah, so there she is. Clements Posey. Yeah. Uh, and they've got all over the Malmaison building, uh, strike the pose. Yeah, and that is pronounced Piso. Okay. Uh, and they allow you uh, to actually... Uh, talk to the staff openly and they allow you to read the papers and take some away to see the menace of the pigeon shit. <laughs> okay, right then. Uh, where was the other pictures? Now this could be our wee sister. She's much skinnier. Oh, and there's Trading Bitcoins. Yeah, Sophie Gaston. All of a sudden it popped up last night and she was being interviewed by Kati K. Yeah, that is the White House person that is the relative of uh, the par person that was the field marshal for North Africa and the tank commander uh, that is Montgomery and all of them are the mountain from a molehill uh, that is uh, the Piso family and false religion. 
<laughs> right then, so I think we should stop there now because it's wasted quite a lot of my time. But let me tell you the other scams. So Salah is the name of the person that is praying for them. And this is the person that went missing from Cardiff Football Club. And he's Sasha, yeah, like Sasha Posey eh, for In That Hotel. Yeah, and let, let me see if I can find her in her role as the Harry Potter actor. Oh, oh sorry, Katie K. White House News. Do you get that? That is Lord Montgomery that was the tank commander in the Second World War. She is his uh, great-granddaughter in the female line. <laughs> Sophie Gaston, Katie Kay, White House. That was the people that were interviewing her on the news last night. Because the bodies for the person that... <laughs> Yeah, all of it is a whole series of articles, uh, all slushed together. Ellie Goulding's pictures were up for a couple of minutes. 22 celebrated. Uh, that's the Katy K at the White House interviewing Sophia Gaston. Yeah, and that is to cover the fact that Katy K was one of the uh, people that were involved uh, with Jim Mars the nickname for Piso, yeah, in the killing of John F. K. Yeah, and I've reported that for months and months and months now, but they still allow her, with her plastic surgery and facelift as a Montgomery, yeah, to present the news every night as the look sound alike for Katy K and Jim Mars and the let's see if we can find a picture of them. Katy K and Jim Mars JFK Killing. Yeah, she's had her name changed. Yeah, she's had a plastic surgery on her face. That is the newsreader. And there is JFK. There's Jim Mars. Jim Mars, then a 20 year old college student, danced on stage with Katy K at Jack Ruby's. Carousel Club. Do you get it? That is Mars, the god of war, and that is one of the nicknames for Arius Piso, which is the surname for that beautiful blonde woman from the In Bruges movie that is Posey. Yeah, all of it pronounced Piso. <laughs> and there is then a 20 year old college student danced on stage with Katy Kay at Jack Ruby's Carousel Club in October 1963, one month before JFK's assassination. Yeah, uh, and that is Jim Mars, who then became the commentator on Expert on Who Did It? Do you get it? The man with the same nickname as Arius Piso, who wrote the Bible, and tells you that he is the Father God. <laughs> right then so uh, I think we should stop and just uh, confirm if Witherspoon's actually asked that we have the address for their Watford headquarters and I've never seen a member of staff being able to come in and clean your room yeah, without you actually asking for it yeah and that should be done after that their guests have checked out but they're in a desperate state of panic. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I think we've done Sir Thingby Gervais. No, we need to find out what the other companies do and what their net worth is. <laughs> yeah, Sir Ger G Richard Gervais Beckett. Okay, so let's... Now just have a look. I think we've gone to the fourth page. So there's J.D. Witherspoon. 
PLC. Yeah, there's the confirmation that they sell shares. Absolutely stunning. Uh, and you cannot find uh, anything of financials. Let's try that. Export financials accounts tables. I wonder what the export... Uh, I think we covered the fourth page of directors. Let's, just to make sure, let's have another look. Kirk Davis, Kirk Dyson Davis. Yeah, do you get the Dysons, the inventors of the Hoovers, and the Tysons who trade with the enemy, all out of Germania, like the Bush family? Yeah, Mr. Mark James Reckitt, Mr. Nigel Connor, Mr. Benjamin Newton Whitley, Mr. Harry Michael Charles Morley. Right then, let's just find out what the four companies are for uh, Gervais. <laughs> uh, and Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. Okay, so companies and the address for him is 60 Victoria Embankment, London EC4 DJP. Right then, first one is sounds like a Scottish name, yeah, not at all posh, but very, very difficult to pronounce. And he was appointed there in 1992. Okay, so there is Loch Luicar Estate Company Limited, private limited, with shares. Age 83 years, and he's a director, and the fact that he's 83 years old confirms that he's not a corporate. Okay, that is 4 Felstead Gardens, Ferry Street, London, E14, 3BS. Okay, uh, and he's got three co-directors on this one alone, uh, and those are the ones that are just still active, uh, but there will be listings for the former directors, I hope. Okay, private limited with share capital. Yeah, on the FTSE 100, all of it, the Rothschild scams since the Battle of Waterloo, and the Pigeons became toxic. Right then. Active accounts filed. Incorporated on the 1st of February 1935. Just as the Bushes were leaving Germany to go to America. George W. Scherf and his family. Yeah, With the Tysons and all of the trading with the enemy specialists who they pretended to jail throughout the Second World War. And it's really lucky for the powers that be that I'm not allowed to present the national news. So this is the nature of the business for Loch Luicar Estate Company in London E14 3BS is to sell Real estate. <laughs> and housing associations. <sighs> right then. So, let's find out who the board members are. Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. Joan Margaret Shackleton. I think one of them went to the South Pole, didn't they? And all of that is the cover for all of that. <laughs> yeah, still on the take. Issuing shares, selling real estate, and hoping that its worth will go higher once you've bought it. Mr. Neil Roxburgh Balfour. Have you heard of those names in Scottish history before? Mr. Benedict John Warrack. Miss Joan Margaret Shackleton of the Antarctic and Sir Richard Gervais of Beckett but nothing necessarily to do with the comedians that are behind the bar in 
uh, Witherspoons or the ones that are behind the film camera in Hollywood. And the real uh, person that was Ricky Gervais only got a first class degree. Uh, he got a third class degree in physiology. And he could not qualify for a higher degree because he's a buffoon. And that's all you need to be a billionaire. Which is why the body doubles for Ant and Deck came to see me two nights ago in the pub that is Witherspoon's. Yeah, but even then, when I was allowed uh, to take pictures of them, they managed to persuade me not to take a photo of them. And that is the uh, two people that are the cover for Archbishop Anton Beck, Deck, uh, Anton Deck, Beck, sorry, uh, from Normandy, who became the first William the Conqueror. Uh, uh, they, uh, he became the first cleric to be the Archbishop of Canterbury in southern England after the Norse conquest had been completed and all of the villagers had been killed so that none of the Anglo-Saxons can survive. Mr Neil Roxburgh Bolfer, who partitioned Palestine, yeah, out of the Lothian coast, yeah, and that is Whitting Game, and I've been to all of those places. Sir Richard Gervais Beckett. Right then, so that's one of his companies. The second one of the four. Let's see, oh, and did we get a list of ex-directors? Key financials. Yeah, and I'm not sure what they said on the financials at the top of the page. So there's the directors and secretaries. Only current ones. They do not any longer allow you to look at the former directorates because that would be really embarrassing with big names like that on the uh, listings. <laughs> yeah, for all through its history since the 1930s. Yeah, trading with the enemy on both sides of the Atlantic and Europe. Right then, uh, so uh, let's go back to the listing of the four. There it is. And let's now look at the Lennox Treason again. 51 Lennox Gardens Limited. Company type. Private Limited with share capital. Yeah? And the address is Gillingham House, 38 to 30, 44 Gillingham Street. London SW1V1HU uh, 22 years old that cannot be correct oh no sorry that was the other company uh, Directors 5 company number 03237177 uh, private limited with share capital 51 Lennox Gardens company status non-trading incorporated on 1996 yeah. And there are the directors. Okay. Mr. Brian Collett, Miss Bibi Rahima Ali, Mr. Mohammed Nazimi, Mr. Conrad Mortimer MacDonald, Mr. Trevor Frederick Smith, Miss Beatrix Vincenzini, Mr. Germany, Germany Jeffrey Howarth. Mr. I think he used to be a politician, didn't he? Miss Verine Veronica Beccaria, Miss Anne Coleman, and all the covers for the now dead John Coleman, who revealed the secrets of Tavistock Teresa. M and N Secretaries Limited, and there's a second page. 